Hey everybody, today is going to be a, a different episode. I didn't get a whole lot of cool stuff this week, and I really don't know what to open up this week. So the next best thing is, I'm going to show you what this studio actually looks like. So we're going to take a, a nice tour. This is what I got to do to walk into the, into the studio. So you're going to see a behind the scenes episode and get a look at my, uh, a decent chunk of my collection. The main event starts right now. Everybody, welcome back to Mint Down the Box, the fastest growing action figure opening show here on YouTube. I'm your host, the Godfather of Toys, the J Bomb. With me, as always, my co host, WrestleMania Mr. T, and the Randall. As you can see, I'm not behind the desk today. I'm actually out and about in the studio. I want to take a break this week because we're going to be doing a couple special episodes and we're going to get away from opening stuff up for the next couple, probably by the next two weeks. But I want to give everybody a kind of a look at my collection. You guys see me open stuff. It's mostly new things. But I want to show you just how vast my collection is. And it's not just action figures. It's not just superheroes and stuff. It's not just McFarlane's. As it seems like that's where I was opening. But I just want to give you just a, a kind of an overview of what goes on in here. So without further ado, as you can tell by looking around me, it's a mess. The hardest thing to do in this place is set things up and keep them from falling over. As you can see over here on my my wrestling shelf, they fall over, my Green Lanterns have fallen over. The Shazams and the Flashes seem to be okay. And I'm working on some of the stuff up there. But if you look over here, I'm a big, huge baseball fan. And you'll see in a second, my Angel Collection. And you'll see some of it over there. That's just a portion of it, the main events behind you. But a lot of autographed baseballs, bobbleheads, things like that. And if you look up in all these totes, <laughs> everything that you see opened up down here, I have packaged as well inside all these totes. A lot of these ships here, like if you swing back around right here, this is my Space 1999 Eagle. <clears throat> I, had some, I kind of restored it like an old-fashioned car, but it was my original Eagle freighter from when I was a kid. So I still have it, and it's all some of the pieces have fallen off. I gotta hang it back up. But if you look over here, you see some other just some of my favorite spaceships and things like that. Got the original uh, Cylon Raider from back in the day. And if if you look over here, you see a big part of this is my angel wall. I have a lot of autographed figures, probably every bobblehead, all the things down here. And if you look down here, I got a lot of crap in the way. I, sorry for that. Do you see I have a game used batting helmets autographed from some of the players I know. A lot of the bobbleheads are autographed by players I know. Over here, I got a lot of some of my favorite players. I've got autographs from over the years. JT Snow, Jack Curtis, Tim Salmon. These plaques here are the minor league players that have lived with me over the three of them actually four of them that have lived with me over the years my adopted players that's why i have so much autographed um angels memorabilia because minor league players have stayed with me over the years and even if they didn't i've got connections through some of those guys to meet some of the more famous players <clears throat> like these things right here these are uh locker plates that they have in the locker room for baseball for angels players i'm everybody but these happen to be three of the guys that live with me over the my, my freddie was my adopted player he didn't live here but frankie and keith they did at one point but as you see i have a lot of the figures are autographed i actually got no i posted on my instagram the jack howl i got through the night i gotta hang it way back up there so it's gonna take me a few minutes let me move this out of the way over here is my huge Batman collection. 
as you see, I'm a big fan of Batmobiles, Batcaves. I have a lot of the Batmobiles, the Batcaves, like some of the stuff, 30, some, 30 plus years old. But um, I have a couple replica props and things like that. I got all my Supermans. Uh, this random stuff up there. Got my autographed Kirby Puckett photo up there in the corner. I like Spider-Man. Because you look over here. I'm really a big fan of the black suited Spider-Man. Over the corner there, I got a bunch of game used bats from over the years from different players. Um, I have some hanging up in the house too. <clears throat> One of the things I've seen on YouTube with a lot of the guys that do these kind of shows, they put all their, they have these big glass cases throughout their house and things like that. I made a decision a long time ago to kind of regulate my collection to a specific room. My bedroom and parts of my house do have some baseball memorabilia, but it's the guys that live with me. It, they're, they're like family. So a picture of these kids that have lived with me over the years technically is baseball memorabilia, but they're also like my kids at some point. So I look at that no differently than I look at my kids my actual kids, school pictures and things like that. But because of that, I've got a lot of game used bats. I have some actually, some of the more pricey ones hanging up in the house, things like that. Then as you look over here, I have a small little Indiana Jones thing in the bottom because I was a big fan of Indiana Jones. And I like the troop build with the Stormtroopers. You see that the only thing I have of the modern Star Wars from the new movies are the Stormtroopers, but most of it is vintage. Star Troopers and R2-D2s. Just some of the cooler things that they've made recently I like to put up there. And then some of the bigger things up there. Then over here, I'm a huge Iron Man fan. I have a lot of Iron Man comic books. And I've always liked the figures. So I've tried to keep that stuff. I was wondering why that Iron Man didn't have a head. But I just realized it's a builder figure I never completed. So then up there I got random Marvel and DC figures. I'm going to be installing these bad boys throughout here to kind of separate things and get more room up there going. And then like I said over here I got my some more baseball stuff at the bottom. My Green Lanterns. Shazam. Got the Marvel Flash, Firestorm, and some, a small Transformer. I'm a big fan of Hot Rod, Rodimus Prime. And then up there, I, I, am, I was going to start building these wood things, and I was just trying to measure to see how it was going to look. But then my in-laws broke out with the nice uh, pl um, plexiglass uh, stands. As you see that, you know, on my table, I have them. And producer Steph got me some. My in-laws got me some. And we're going to be ordering a lot more to put up there. And then last but not least, we got the far corner. We got more baseball stuff, some books. <clears throat> and this is a, this is a, a close -up, more of a close-up view of what you see behind me. <clears throat> I'm a fan of the classic Yankees. So I've got a little tribute to some of the Yan older Yankees up there. <clears throat> some other assorted McFarland baseball figures. A lot of those guys were either Angels or played for the Angels. A couple Yankees. And then over here, I have all my Kirby Puckets. Some Rockies players. Brady Anderson, who was a, I was a big fan of. Bo all my Bo Jacksons. And Greg Jeffries, those are some of my favorite players growing up. And then just random. Ricky Henderson was one of my idols. You know, Nick Aiden Hart, who um, who died in 2009, was actually the best friend of one of my adopted players. So I got to know him very well and was really upset when he passed. And just some other random things around here. This back over here. It's all the stuff I need to open up and set out someday. So most of it I open up and I put in boxes and stuff. 
it's going to be the stuff we take with us to Texas because we plan on having a huge studio. And that's where I'm going to have the glass cases. That's where I'm going to have all my stuff that's in totes. Make it look like a library. Make it look like a studio slash museum. So that's the plan. So it's going to look a lot differently when we finally get to Texas. And I can put <laughs> more stuff. The real, the real crazy part of, of all this is going to be when I have to pack all this up to take to Texas with me. So, so yeah, that's, this is what we're working with. This is how, this is what goes on. This is what you guys, <clears throat> this is what I'm looking at when you guys are looking at me. But I just wanted to share with you, um, all this. But, what we are going to do now is, I'm going to give you guys a chance. I finally got the extra coins. I have these three right here. And hopefully, producer Steph can get a good shot of them. I currently sit at, I think, 92 subscribers. I think we could do way better than that. And I'm willing to give... A lucky person out there, one of these coins, I'll let you pick whatever one you want. All we need to do is get to 200 subscribers. And all I need you to do is send me a screenshot of you subscribed and somebody else. I don't care if it's a friend, your mom, your dad. But the only thing is, get as many as you can. Because as soon as we hit 200, I'm going to put all the names and do a drawing. And we'll announce it on the show. What I do need you to do is go over to Instagram and follow me at Mint Out the Box. Should be easy to find because I'll be able to you'll be able to get uh, updates during the week with what's going on and let you know when we're gonna do the drawing. I'll keep you guys updated on how many subscribers I have to the channel. Yeah, I'm sure you can look at that too when you go online. But that's where, like I said, these coins are pretty cool. Even if you just get the one from the from the from the drawing. It's a $50 value. All you got to do is show me you're subscribed and get someone else to subscribe. But the more subscriptions you we you can get, if you can get five, if you can get 10, it helps us get to 200 faster. And so if, if five people enter and we get to the 200 because you guys each get me 20, then it's between you five people. So the faster we get there, like I said, all you got to do is I'm going to leave my email address. It's an AOL email address, so don't laugh at it. It's just because I'm old school. I'm the king of old school, as you see by my collection here. So, like I said, just send me a screenshot. You subscribed and you getting someone else to subscribe. And we put it in the drawing. We'll, I will announce when we're going to do the drawing. We'll draw it. I will send this to you. You ain't got to do nothing. I, I don't care where you live. I don't care if you're in Ukraine. I don't care if you're on the South Pole or North Pole. I will get you whatever whatever one of these coins you want. And remember, I'm going to be getting more coins throughout the year. And we will try to keep getting the subscriptions going more and more. And at a certain point, I'm just going to do a drawing period just for you watching. You ain't going to have to do anything. But just send me uh, an email saying you want to get in the drawing. So I make, make it very easy. You subscribe to probably all kinds of crazy dumb crap. On, the, on YouTube anyway. So just add this channel to it. So. I'm going to cut it off right now. Um, next week. We're, we're going to have a very very special episode. We're actually going to be filming it this week. Actually tomorrow as you're seeing this. Or actually if you're watching it Monday. It's going to be being filmed that day. We are finally going to go to my friend's studio. He makes custom, uh, he does artwork, all kinds of uh, sports artwork, but he does custom baseball cards. We're going to get his story. We're going to see what he's doing. And he's going to talk about a very special event coming up that has to do with uh, Fernando Valenzuela, a famous Dodger pitcher. It's at a Dodger event. I'm not a huge Dodger fan, but Fernando did pitch for the Angels. But So I'm on board. And plus, this is important to my friend. And I know there's a lot of baseball fans out there, a lot of Dodger fans out there. And this is something you, you, you could probably all attend if you're in the California area. And it'll be a good time for you and the kids. And you'll see some really cool artwork. And uh, we will get a lot more on it in our next episode. So like I said, screenshot of your subscription and another subscription. 
link in the my email address will be in the a link in the description box so you all have a fantastic week please help me out please get in the drawing to get one of these coins have a great week and i will see you next time